There's a juxtaposition in Sal's personality when he's in power versus when his power is challenged by the black people in the neighborhood. This difference is represented through the use of Dutch angle shots, high angle versus low angle, and reverse angle shots. This is a representation for how white people see themselves as superior to other races and can only coexist if they are in this place of power. Which I think is pretty... FUCKED UP! Sal is very nice and cordial with Mookie and his customers because they need him for something which creates a power dynamic of him supporting them and having power. Choose your weapon, man. You drop something, man. Sal is usually seen as a neutral party in these scenes from an eye-level position occupying the frame with others. However, whenever his power is challenged, even in the slightest, he gets angry quickly. You are disturbing me! We see this the first time that Sal interacts with Bugging Out. He is seen from a high angle shot representing his loss of power in the situation because he's being challenged. Bugging Out simply asked about the faces on the wall, and Sal threatened to bash his brains in with a baseball bat. Hey, hey Sal, how come you got no brothers up on the wall here? You want brothers on the wall? Get your own place. You can do what you want to do. You can put your brothers and uncles and nieces and nephews, your stepfather, stepmother, whoever you want, you see? But this is my pizzeria. American Italians on the wall only. He didn't like the fact that a black man claimed to have power over him because the only people who spent money in a shop were black. Yeah, that might be fine, Sal, but uh, you, you own this. Rarely do I see any American Italians eating in here. All I see is black folks. So since we spend much money here, we do have some sex. You looking for trouble? Are you a troublemaker? Is that what you are? You making trouble? Yeah, I'm a troublemaker. I'm making trouble. You're a real ball breaker. Who's coming in here looking for trouble, huh? Suppose I busted your head. How would you? This was the same the first time that Radio Rahim entered sales and tried to order a pizza. Two slices. Normally we see Sal and his customers in the same shot, but when Radio Rahim enters, him and Sal are only seen in reverse touch angle shots, so they never occupy the same frame at the same time. This represents how Sal views it as him versus Radio Rahim, a battle taking place for power in the store. The fact that they are never allowed to occupy the same frame is a metaphor for how Radio Rahim is not allowed to challenge Sal's power or be on equal footing with him. Which is still pretty. Fucked up! Radio Rahim is challenging Sal's power and authority and making him look weak and putting him on edge, represented by the Dutch angle shot. Usually Sal is seen from an eye level or low level shot, but when his power is challenged, he's represented from a high angle to show the power struggle. He's also viewed with a close-up rather than a medium shot to show how tense he is when someone challenges his authority. We also see Sal's power represented through his interactions with Mookie. When he's talking about renaming the store Sal and Sons and mentions that Mookie will always have a place there, the camera pans down to Mookie. This represents that Sal will always look down on Mookie because he's black and he will only be allowed to work in the store if he remembers his place. Which is really... FUCKED UP! Finally, we see Sal get furious with Radio Rahim and bugging out when they storm into his store a mere moments after he decided to open up again because the four neighborhood kids loved his pizza. He was happy staying open late for them because they were willing to spend money on him, but he won't accept bugging out Radio Rahim's demands for putting black people on the wall because it challenges his authority. It's about the fucking pizza! It's about turning that shit off and get the fuck out of my place! Radio Rahim! Fuck you! And fuck you too! These racial slurs show that Sal's prejudice lie just beneath the surface and come out as soon as he feels threatened or scared, which we can all agree is just really fucked up. This film is commenting on the fact that the mere existence of black people on the same level as white people is a threat to their power, and it conveys this threat by portraying Sal's discomfort and anger with Dutch angle shots, close-ups, and high angle shots. I believe that Sal is a caricature of white people who believe they can only coexist with black people if whites are in a superior position, which is completely fucked up! <laughs>